Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me and I'm talking about watches. Today I'm going to talk about the, the Seagar Design Skeleton Watch. And I want to say a big thank you to Chen for loaning me his watch today. It's a big thing to loan out a watch that you love and I really appreciate it. So the Seagar Designs Watch is under the umbrella company of the Xiaomei Home Electrics Company. They are a huge company over in China. They make all sorts of electrical items ranging from mobile phones all the way through to electric cars. This is just one of the products that they have produced through the Seagar Designs line. It is an amazing looking watch. It's really interesting, something very different to what I would normally look at. And I'm really excited to put it on the wrist and have a proper look at it. So let's have a look. So here we have the Sega Design Skeleton Mechanical Watch Z Series. Firstly, I want to talk about this box that it comes in. It's very different to a normal watch box, and I particularly like it. Normally I wouldn't spend a lot of time talking about a watch box, but this one's going to get a little bit of extra attention from me. It comes in this book format. On the front, is this nice 3D effect of the watch head itself. It has the German Design Award winner 2020, Sega Design. On the back is some general product information, Sega Design, Sega Design Skeleton Mechanical Watch Z Series, TI Orange, product number, grade, etc. And QC Past. That's a positive. On the edge, Sega Design Skeleton Mechanical Watch Z Series again. So that's written everywhere. And whilst we're here, I want to talk to you about my first positive of this watch. I know this is very early in the video to talk about it, but it already is this box and is the way that it is designed and packaged and the way that we can now store it. Being so thin, unlike most watch boxes which end up in your bottom drawer or the top of the cupboard, this one here could fit very nicely onto your bookshelf. How amazing would that be to have all your watch boxes on your bookshelf displayed nicely showing what it is? I'd certainly have them all on mine. So let's get the, the outer covering on and work on to the next part of the watch box itself. So a nice silver depiction of the watch and just in case by this stage you've forgotten what you've, you've ordered it's written again right here. Just like a book you open up it gives you an initial view of the internals of this watch with audible heartbeat of a machine. And over on this side there's a little bit more information. Again like a book we can open up and inside is a warranty card and some so here's some information about daily maintenance of your watch and here's some information of the designer. And now we have our operational manual. And isn't that displayed really nice? Diagrams, depictions of the watch, showing you what to do, and nice simple directions. Okay, that's enough of that, let's look at the watch. Look how nice how that is presented. Amazing. And all this lovely information about the watch. And while we're here, I'm just gonna pick the watch up. I'm gonna have a look over it. And I'm just going to run through these information here. It's all right here in front of me. Why should I get it from anywhere else? Wow, would you look at that. It's a curved synthetic sapphire crystal. The case back is a mineral hardened glass. The watch head is 48 millimeters in length, 40.8 in width, excluding the crown, 12.3 millimeter thickness. I measure it at 42 millimeters. 43 with the crown, a 13 millimeter thickness, 48 lug to lug, a 22 mil lug width, and a weight of 53 grams, just the watch head. 73 grams with the rubber bracelet, and 66 grams with the leather bracelet. Titanium case, it contains a Seagull AAA class self-winding mechanical movement, ST2553JK. Up to 40 hours power reserve, 21,600 oscillations per hour, 25 joules, and within tolerances of minus 15 to plus 30 seconds per 24 hours. Well, that made my life a lot easier, didn't it? So let's have a bit of a more of a look without reading this, shall we? So overall we have a nice brushed finish. We have this beautiful looking mechanical movement inside. We don't get a screw down crown, so we can just wind it. And you can see the mainspring winding as I do that. There is no day or date. It's 
purely straight out to the first position to adjust the time. And as you can see, it's hacking. Now let's get a little bit closer, shall we? You can see all those lovely internal movements. The Sega design in the middle on the right. The hands are tipped with red. The second hand is red. And you'll see there's a little bit of a red part of the crown going through the case here. You have these four screws that are purely for aesthetics. They don't provide any structure to it. Through the back you can see that it is also an automatic movement. States titanium case, water resistant, three atmospheres. It is a screw down case back with these four screws. On the side we have these crown guards with this lovely 3D effect here with the C logo. The crown itself is quite nice to use, if not a little bit difficult to hold on to. On the side have we got the cigar designs engraved in. All right, let's throw it on a couple of the straps. Now, it comes with quick release spring bars, and if you haven't used these before, they are wonderful. You just click in the first link, hold on with your finger, click in, done. How wonderful is that? Why are they not all like this? I don't know. Done. Here we go, on the orange strap. I'm not gonna bother putting in the leather. The leather's a little bit average, but as you can see, this is what she's going to look like, isn't it? Let's put that leather one aside. It does say genuine leather. It has got the cigar design. It has got the quick release spring bars. It's got the nice tang and buckle. It is a rounded end to it with the cigar design etched into it. And it's etched in quite deeply to a point where it's even slightly sharp on your finger. The silicone strap is particularly nice. It has a lovely 3D effect on it. It is very soft to touch, very supple. It has the same tang on it with the logo on it. Again, just very slightly sharp because it is quite deep, but not that it would hurt you. The keepers are really good. Underneath both have these little locking pins that are molded into the silicon so that when you do put it onto your wrist they do hold into the, the individual holes. So let's put it onto the wrist to see what it's like. So there it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Having a lug to lug of 48 millimeters it conforms quite nicely to the size of my wrist. So obviously being a skeleton design, it's only going to appeal to certain people. However, for me, this is probably one of the only skeleton watches that I've seen that I particularly like. I think the overall design is really nice. It's well thought out. It's very pleasing to look at. There are some minute markers around the edge on both sides. And I have to say overall, I do really like this watch. It is lovely, very different, very interesting. Something that would be very different to what's in my own collection. There are a number of negatives for me for this watch, but all those negatives have somewhat of a but at the end of it. And let me explain. Firstly, legibility of the time. It's a little bit hard to read. You are certainly able to figure out what the time is within a reasonable short time. However, it's not immediately legible. But if you buy a watch like this, it's, it's to be expected and you're not buying it to be a super legible watch, are you? The strap itself is really nice but I'm not really a silicon strap person, so it's not really a negative, it's just not my preferred option for the watch. I'd be looking for something else to put on it. With that in mind, having such a straight lug end to the case really allows for a lot of different straps to fit really nicely. You can even get aftermarket bracelets with those flat hands, which will fit very nicely into this. The Seagull Design logo on the side is rather big. However, when it's down on your wrist, you're not gonna really see it. However, when you're wearing it, looking down by your side, rather than see a big logo, really it just becomes part of the design of the watch itself. Having those lines on the side do balance out the lines on the crown guard. So it is quite nice from that perspective. Okay, so let's stick this on the time grapher. I actually haven't done this as yet, so this will be new to me. We'll have a look at those figures, they're quite nice. 21,600 vibrations per hour. Beat error is almost none. 
quite a nice healthy amplitude plus four seconds a day. I certainly wouldn't be unhappy if I got a watch with those figures. So stay tuned to hear my final thoughts. So there you have it, the first skeleton watch I've ever had on my wrist. I really quite like it. It's very different to a lot of the skeleton watches that I've seen in the past. Normally this style of watch wouldn't attract me, however this sort of design has really intrigued me. I really quite enjoyed it. Thanks again Chen for loaning it to me. The only real problem is that I liked it so much that I'm considering buying one for myself. So if you are interested in one of these watches, they are for sale on multiple websites. Chen got this one off AliExpress, which is probably where I'd be looking to get it as well. But as you know, AliExpress has lots of sales on. If you do decide to go through AliExpress, there are lots of different vendors and they'd always have sales on. So keep your eye out for the best price. All right, thanks again for watching.